Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. Today we are going to cover Geom Polygon with ggplot. Basically, Geom Polygon is like a Geom Path, but instead of plotting lines, we are going to plot surfaces in this case. And for the purpose of this episode, I have these two data frames uh, and uh, why we need four columns for uh, Geom Polygons. Uh, column ID is going to define our polygon. Basically, all of rows from our data source with same value for ID are going to hold data for single polygon. With column well, that stands for value, we are going to define shade of filling color. And with X and Y, we are going to define position of our polygon corners. And in this first case, we are dealing with some random data, but in this second case, uh, I have uh, defined every single point. So in order to create a polygon, first we are going to provide data as our data source. I am going to provide aesthetics of X and Y for position. Then, as we said, group by ID and fill color is going to be determined by value of well, like this. And now just add geom polygon. Save it, run it. In this first case, we got uh, seven different polygons because we have seven values in our ID columns. And all of our seven polygons are actually triangles because we have three points per ID. Values for uh, X are always the same, uh, but for Y are random. So if we run this code once again, we are going to get a different result. But in order for you better to understand this, I have created this data one data frame. If I run this code, this is what we are going to get. So what is the point in here? ID in this case uh, have uh, two values, one and two. And those two values are repeated four times. So in this case, we actually have two rectangles, one with uh, ID of one and second with ID of two. We have two values uh, of 12 and of 200. And that's why we have two completely different shades of uh, blue color. And in here, we actually have positions. First four position uh, for uh, first rectangle and second four positions for second rectangle. So uh, first corner of our uh, first rectangle, it's on one one. This is this corner. Second corner, it's on uh, two on X axis and one on Y axis. So this is this point. Now we have two two, that is this point. And at the end, we have uh, two on uh, X axis and one on y axis. In this way we have covered entire polygon. And the same goes for second polygon. So guys, I truly hope that this episode helped you to understand this subject. So please like, subscribe and see ya.